This isn't a water boss. I'm be super tilted. Or a fire boss. Are you an electric boss? Wait a minute. Don't you dare. <gasps> hey, how's it going? I know it's been a couple days. Uh, I figured I'd start us out with what's probably going to be our last big egg opening. Um, I did panic open one egg, which is right there. Uh, we did get raided and the base did catch fire. Uh, I did not know the water pals would actually put that out. So I just panicked and started trying to open the eggs. Uh, so we did miss a Mossandra getting opened. And then ignore this. This is not actually part of the team. Uh, I did set up a third base that I'll show off in just a bit. All right. But this is the last big opening for the last. I think this is all the eggs for the last two videos uh, combined because I, ha I hadn't opened any in either of the previous two. So let's see what we get, shall we? Rayhound. Another Rayhound. Oh no. Yeah, okay, it was. It was so Rayhound, Rayhound, Mossanda. So two Rayhounds and two Mossandas so far. Robin Quill, okay. <gasps> Ooh, we got another blackout. Let's go, baby. A Univolt, cool. And another Gore Rat. All right. So these are all the new pals that we got. Let's take a look. Boom, boom. We got all of those. All eight of these are the new ones right here. Um, you know, I am gonna open it up to you all. If you have any suggested names for any of these pals, I'll go ahead and mouse over them real quick so you can see their um, passive skills. So, so, Cause I sometimes use that as part of the reason I named something something. Uh, go ahead and shoot a comment down below and give me a name for any of the, any of the pals that just hatched today. Hey, uh, whatever, whatever names are highest upvoted are the ones I'm going to use and I'll name them in the next episode. Next episodes, things are going to be slowing down. Um, I think I warned you all of that, um, not too long ago, uh, mostly because I'm doing a lot of just, I, I, there's a lot of just background farming and like preparation that I'm doing. Um, and I don't want to throw up a video that's really just 30 minutes of me like farming my farming ore or smelting bars or working on the assembly you know it's just it's not interesting and i don't i, I want to be respectful of your time um so yeah that the videos are going to be a little bit slower uh, we are moving and in, in my opinion we're moving into the end of the challenge really i suspect that It'll probably be three or four more videos tops before the challenge is done, I would say. We are currently level 34. There's just, there's not a whole lot of levels left, you know? Now, I could be wrong. Some of these fights could be really hard. And I, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've been trying to, again, I've been trying to be a bit respectful of uh, everybody that watches time. Um, if a fight is just pretty straightforward, I go in, it falls over. I've pretty much just been like speeding through it and getting to the fights that are more interesting, like the Elizabeth fight, for example, or the Lunaris fight. Um, I'm hoping these later game fights are going to be hard. I'm hoping they are going to be interesting. Um, I would enjoy that a lot, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you the new base. I, got, I went ahead and set up a cliffside base on a mount, on the volcano uh, just so I could mine sulfur because it was kind of becoming a problem. Um, yeah, I don't know what this... <laughs> don't, don't look at that. I don't know. Um, I tried to do a bit of decorating in here, but yeah, it's... It's okay, I guess. It's not. It's it's definitely not. It's definitely not the greatest base ever. 
Uh, I did try to get a food system set up in here. Um, I tried to bring a brown cherry up here, just leave it on the on the roof. But of course, that does not work. <laughs> Anytime I leave the base and come back, the brown cherry would wind up down there and then walk in the lava and then die. Uh, it, it was a... <sighs> it was a mess. <laughs> so I have to bring them their food. But it's okay because they are wonderful, wonderful miners. Look at this. Look at that. 900 sulfur in that box. It's it's pretty wild. 140 sulfur in that box. It's, again, it's pretty wild. There is one more thing that I need to do. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just do it now. Um, our original base, which is the one that I was just at with all of the eggs, I'm going to be tearing down and we're going to be moving locations because we need to get coal production online for the late game. Um, I did enjoy this spot. Um, I think, I think I might do a video. I, I'm I, I, just a base build video for this spot where I actually try to make it like a really good location because I really think this spot is just, it's honestly, it's, it's so good. Like I love this spot so, so much, but it's time to move on. And unfortunately the challenge is we have requirements, you know? And I've got to meet those requirements. So goodbye, old friend. Feels a little weird not having it there anymore. But I left the house there just in case. Um, I may, like, it's not really con of any consequence, especially on single player. Uh, I may go ahead and just turn off the uh, degradation of things that are outside of the um, outside of the blue circle, just to kind of leave it there as a monument, you know. Also, we are 34, so we do finally have Beaconator's Saddle. And let me tell you what. <laughs> Twinkle Wing got fired immediately. This thing is so much faster. Look at this. This is me not sprinting, by the way. This is not sprinting speed. It's so much faster. <laughs> anyway, uh, new base. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be right here. Um, there's a mountain. I think it's this one. I think it's this one right here. There's a mountain over here that has both a good bit of metal and a good bit of coal. And that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for that coal. All right, we are coming up on the mountaintop. I'm almost certain this is the right mountain. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep, this is the mountaintop we needed. Uh, we do need to have a chat with the local bee population. Give me just a moment to hash things out with them and come up with some negotiations. Okay, so negotiations went well. They were more than accepting of us moving in over here. Uh, happy to hear that. All right, so this is the spot. Now you notice there's a ton of nodes, right? We don't want to build over any of those nodes at all, none of them. But what we do want to do is build a nice little building right in the middle. Uh, we are going to be building out of stone, I think, just to avoid any fire hazards that may come about. <laughs> uh, I just want to quickly get the foundations put down here. Just so I can I, I visualize where things are going to go. Let's see. Uh -oh. Um, okay, can I put this on there without blocking that node? I sure can. Very nice. Okay, so that'll be the actual base itself. Right there. And then let's go ahead and get some more foundations put down. All right, and then we can go ahead and place our power box right down in the middle. Right there. And there you have it. The new base is set up. All right, so I went ahead and I brought out the lumberjack squad for a bit. We got a bunch of trees that we need to get cut down so we can get the base built up. So I went ahead and just, you know, pulled out a couple of guys. They're knocking down those trees pretty handily. Um, I'm making it pretty big like, again. This is just gonna be a side base. I don't Because of the actual limited building space. I don't think I'll be using this base for much It's really just gonna be to have a source of coal, which is here 
and an, an additional source of metal as well. Um, I think that this is pro this is honestly a prime base location, and I feel like if I if you really wanted to, this is probably one of the better starting locations. Um, I think if I were to start this, what I would do is I would um, there is a mod that you can get that expands the size of your base location, like it expands like the radius that the power box covers. If I had that installed, I would definitely I could definitely uh, see myself like just starting up straight up base here. Uh, speaking of mods, you may have noticed that when I open the eggs, they kind of open instantly or almost instantly. Uh, I do have a couple of mods installed right now. Um, I've been testing a couple of things out over the last couple days because I do want to do a modded series playthrough. Um, not sure if there'd be any interest in that, but it's something that I'm interested in. So I'm definitely going to be doing it. Uh, so I've been trying to like get a mod pack put together that functions pretty well. Uh, the mods that I have installed that I figured would make the that wouldn't affect the nuzlocke at all But would make my life easier um, I've got the faster button presses. So like when I open like eggs or cages or anything uh, It goes a lot quicker um, I have two mods for that help with the pals getting stuck issue uh, One of them will feed if a pal is stuck. It'll move it um, Back it'll move it to a safe location so it can continue working and then there's another one that senses that if a pal gets to the point where it's just completely hungry and it's not feeding, it will teleport it back to the pal box um, to try. Basically, they're both just different ways to deal with things getting stuck, you know, until until um, until the devs get that figured out. That's what those are for. Uh, and then there's also a mod that makes them eat until they get to 90 percent, I believe. It's currently the way they the way that their hunger works is they go back and they just start eating once they get to like until they get to 50 percent and then they go back to work um which is why they run back and forth so much but with the with that mod they eat to 90 percent so there's less they eat more in a single setting but there's less running back and forth overall you know and then of course i've got this amazing mod for nighttime that makes it super gorgeous um and on this series, you may have noticed it's not nighttime very much. Uh, that's because I have the nighttime sped up just because it doesn't look good on video for you guys. Even even with the lantern, it doesn't look good. Uh, but with that mod, it looks it, it goes from completely useless to actually gorgeous. So I will go ahead and link all of those mods in the description below if you want to take a look at them. Um, but yeah. Back to building. All right, just a quick mid build update that I wanted to give you all. Um, I wanted to show you that uh, that nighttime mod I was talking about. So this is what the evenings look like with that mod. Here, let me go teleport somewhere that's a little bit lower to the ground and I'll just run around and really quickly just to give you a quick look. Um, here, I'll go over here. It's, uh, honestly, it's probably my favorite mod so far. Like, look at this. It is actually gorgeous. Right? Anyway, that's it. Back to building. All right. And the base is pretty much done. Again, this wasn't going to be anything super crazy. Uh, and I definitely did not just go and uh, raid a wildlife sanctuary to <laughs> staff this place. I promise that's not what you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, so don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I decided to just do it really simple. Um, Four pen kings and then two patalias will be more than enough to do everything that this base needs to do. Uh, they've got gathering, planting. All six of them have um, transporting, and then all of the work. The pen kings all have uh, mining. And this is our actual pen king that we're allowed to use, who's finally getting a nickname. 
the foreman. Um, so I don't need a whole lot here. Um, we've got six beds because that's all that we're using. Um, I did try to get a little bit fancy with it. I'm using, I wanted to go ahead and set up a railing because I wanted to have like an open top up here. And I found that the benches stacked on top of each other actually make a really nice railing in my opinion. Uh, there's some more tricks and tips that I've found for building that I haven't really implemented yet. Just because it hasn't really been a focus or necessary, but I do want to build more. Um, probably not much in this series. I don't really, s with how close we are to f ending, I don't think there's going to be much building here. Probably in the modded series, I'll probably go pretty hard on the building though. Uh, especially since I'm going to be using the thing that uh, makes this barrier bigger. So I'll have a lot more room to work with. Anyway, I'm going to take off because the sound these guys makes us, <sighs> you know, I just had a thought. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually gone back and changed the setting to make everything to make this house last yet. So I think I need to go double check and make sure it's still here. Okay, so here's the old house. Here's hoping everything is. <gasps> nope, things are degrading. Okay. <laughs> ah, crap. Dude, that degraded fast. Holy crap. Okay, I guess we just pick this all up. Where is it? Uh, we actually probably should save that metal schematic for the helmet. So we'll save that one. Uh, remember, I got the AR schematic when we first went over to the snow and we had no business being over there. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let me go turn off that setting real quick. And we'll, I guess we'll just leave it in this dilapidated state. I kind of, I don't know, kind of makes sense to be like that. Okay, never mind. I found it. <laughs> and it looks like I've got two of the metal helmet schematics, so I didn't need to save that one either. Um, speaking of schematics, I think I'm going to do the, le the the last bit of level 34. Uh, just farming up bosses, trying to get schematics. I think that's what I need right now. I'd like to get the metal helmet schematic. I'd like to get some better armor schematics. Just things like that. Schematic. <gasps> we actually got it. Yo, let's go. Yo. Okay, let's go, dude. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was literally the first try after saying we we're going to farm this guy for today. <laughs> okay, dude. All right, I guess I'll go look and see uh, where we get the metal, the metal armor for schematic from and see if we can farm that too. <laughs> That's such a huge come up. Okay, well, it appears that my pin kings are unable to farm the coal on the new base. So I've had to come. <laughs> uh, boy, what a dumb problem. <gasps> so we've had to come. We're going to get some reptiles. They have level three mining. I'm hoping that'll be enough. It should be, I would think. I don't actually know, but you know, I mean, I would assume that's enough. Yeah. There we go, that's one. Oh, did I level? A level 35, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go get the second Reptaro and then we get a boss to fight. Oh boy. All right, now for this upcoming boss fight, um, pretty sure, I mean, pretty certain it's gonna be a fire type. It's on a volcano. It's the towers of the, it's the tower for the brothers of the eternal pyre. Uh, if there's not a fire type boss in there, I'm gonna be real surprised. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at our roster because I want to I want to try to tailor the teams a bit just to Just to make sure we have the best chance when we go in um, Let's see water types Ooh. Uh, Boy I mean we do have our pen king He's part ice is the problem. Uh, we have Lapras the second. 
Lapras will almost certainly be on the team. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Lapras and, um, we've got Lapras and Shiny Flopray, and those are pretty much our only pure water types. I mean, we've got Water Taxi too, but I don't want to take two of the same thing in. I mean, I could, but I don't think I will. Yeah, probably not. We'll just we'll take in Lapras the second, but we're not gonna take in two of the same type for this fight. Um, who are we leaving home? Hmm. You know. Twinkle may be staying home. I've been having a bit of trouble with Twinkle. The last two videos, I didn't I kinda cut it, but Twinkle was oftentimes I'll throw him out in a fight. They just wouldn't fight or she just wouldn't fight. It was just it was a it was a problem. So Yeah What is this ability? Um Hmm I can't really think of anything else that I'd want to bring so let's go ahead and get those leveled up and then we will Well, we've got an alpha to fight and then we'll take on the tower okay so before we get started we do have one order of business and that's gonna be this guy right here wow. this is the alpha we've got to take down thankfully we've got secretariat so i don't think it'll be too big of a deal unless secretariat gets stuck in a wall it's an invisible tornado. Cool, cool. Come on, bud. Can we not get stuck in walls? Oh, come on. Secretariat, what are you doing, bud? Yeah. Fine. All right, Jim. It's okay. I got this. Okay. I just completely missed that attack. Go, bud. Random mid, mid <laughs> random mid fight music switch. Okay, okay. Not weird at all. I just miss all those. I don't actually know. There we go. Bird Ash down. <laughs> uh, did we get any? No, no recipe or anything like that. Um, uh, okay. Well, that was the, that was, I believe was the only level 35 um, I think our next alphas won't be until level 38. Uh, I will double check that just to be sure though. All right, we are here. We did get Lapras level to 35. We're gonna be going with two water types. We've got Shiny Flopway, we've got Lapras. We've got Secretariat just because he's quickly become my second favorite next to Bun Bun, of course. Bun Bun, always number one. Uh, and then I've got Beaconator. I don't know why I've got Beaconator. Beaconator has good health. I figure it might be strong. Um, so yeah. Just gonna double check the move set real quick here. Um, I do want. Uh, I'll take Aqua Gun here. Uh, Bun Bun, do you have any water moves by chance, girl? No, I also didn't make my metal helmet, but 
you know what it's okay if the metal helmet makes that much of a difference well i think i've got bigger problems <laughs> all right flop rate definitely don't want that um let's go aqua gun again so we're gonna we're going bubble blast aqua gun on both of them all right uh i guess we'll lead off with lapras the second and see how this goes if this isn't a water boss i'm gonna be super tilted or a fire boss Are you an electric boss? Wait a minute. Pause. Pause. Don't you dare. <gasps> Are you kidding? Guys, we might wipe here. Oh. Oh God. We might wipe here. I didn't know that this was an electric boss. That's not cool. Okay, uh, in that case, in that case, <laughs> oh, that's the rain. I don't like the rain. Okay, I gotta make sure I'm keeping an eye on the Secretariat's health here. This man just pulled out a trident? What the f was that? Come on, Secretary. You got this, buddy. Oh. There we go. Headshot City. Let's go. Oh. What the hell was that? What was that attack? Yeah, yo, indeed. Okay, really need my shield to come back. That, uh... Okay, Bun Bun. Get in there, girl. Okay, shield is back. Good job. Oh, he's part dragon. Let's go, Bun Bun. Let's go, Bun Bun. Okay, keep an eye on Bun Bun's health. Okay, after that, we're gonna go, we're probably gonna go into Beaconator. Okay, let's go Beaconator for a bit. Give Bun Bun a break. Okay, we're gonna outrun the smoke. We gotta outrun the rain. Outrun the rain. Beaconator's not attacking. Okay, I think I know how to fix this. Oh, this is, okay, we're, we're not doing this, dude, right? Apparently we are. Okay, is Beaconator fixed now? I don't know. Beak, are you fighting? Come. Okay, dude. I don't want to restart the fight. It feels... Dude, every time, every time I've, I've tried a boss recently, this has happened at least once, except for Verdash. You throw something out, it does not engage in the fight, and the boss never targets it. <sighs> mm. You know what? I'm going to leave. I'll leave it up to y'all. Um, do I roll for that death or do we restart the fight? Because 
clearly Beaconator literally won't fight. Uh, I'm fine with either way. I just, I don't, I don't know how to judge this because I know how I want to judge it, but <sighs> yeah, I think, I think I'm going to call the episode there. I, I don't know how to fix that bug. If anybody knows any way to stop that from happening, please, please let me know because I just, I don't know. Also, if the comment section decides that I need to roll it, I'm not rolling it until the start of next episode because I don't want what I don't want the roll that we hit to potentially affect the vote if there is one. So, yeah. Later. <laughs>